good morning one and all uh, last time we discussed about various structures of the limbic system or the structure that constitute the limbic system uh, we also discussed various connections uh, of the limbic system what are the various neurotransmitter systems located in the limbic part of the brain then we discussed what is papis circuit what is a major circuit what is a, what is a minor circuit now it's a time to discuss depending on the various neurotransmitter system and the uh, connections of the limbic system uh, we can now discuss the various functions that is brought about by the limbic system pd maclean in the year 1949 called limbic system as the visceral brain for its close association with hypothalamus and visceral autonomic functions it is primarily involved in physiological behaviors or functions like motivation addiction emotional emotion of rage and fear sexual behavior and autonomic responses motivation motivation has got two basic system reward system and avoidance system what is reward system these are areas in the brain which on stimulation produces pleasurable or give a feeling of happiness of being placed and therefore feeling of getting rewarded and as it is said to be the reward center or reward system and exactly opposite to this is avoidance system areas in the brain which on stimulation produce unpleasant feeling and therefore aversive behavior that is avoidance behavior is initiated about 35% of the various brain areas are rewarding or rewarding uh, centers we can say 5% are the aversive and 60% are neutral in nature these areas are detected by self stimulation studies in animals usually in monkeys by electrodes implanted in the different parts of the brain animals are allowed to deliver current to brain areas through the electrodes by pressing the let us discuss about reward system mainly consist of dopaminergic pathways which are starting from ventral tegmental area to the nucleus accumbens that means the two major constituent of the reward system are the ventral tegmental area from where the pathway is starting the pathway involved is dopaminergic and where ultimately it is terminating into nucleus accumbens also it is including to certain extent frontal cortex and the hypothalamus nucleus accumbens as we can see here Uh, is a major reward center with dopamine as a major neurotransmitter for it dopaminergic agonist facilitate the rate of self stimulation and d3 receptors for the dopamine antagonist decrease self stimulation in rats using a skinner box procedure electric stimulation of ventral tegmentum uh, median forebrain bundle and nucleus accumbens and prefrontal cortex led to repeated bar pressing that are the part of rewards the arrangement in this particular diagram is so made that this is a uh, bar that is to be pressed by the uh, this rat and uh, the electrode is implanted through which the current or the stimulation is given to a specific parts of the brain as we have mentioned over here like ventral tegmentum uh, nucleus accumbens prefrontal cortex and when this bar is pressed a uh, Uh, stimulus is given which is coming by the way of this circuit and stimulating specific part of the brain which is giving a pleasurable uh, feeling to the rat and thereby the rat keeps on pressing the bar repeatedly and therefore uh, repeated bar pressing that are the part of reward system avoidance system it includes lateral portion of the posterior hypothalamus dorsal midbrain and entorhinal cortex in humans on stimulation of these particular areas a uh, gives feeling which range from fear to terror and therefore it is also called as the punishment system or the avoidance addiction depending on the avoidance system it is a compulsion of repeatedly use a substance in spite of knowing the negative or the ill impact of it on the health commonly occurs uh, to the uh, drugs or agents like morphine heroin cocaine amphetamine ethyl alcohol and major mechanism for addiction is increase in dopamine concentration in the reward system of the brain that is at the location of nucleus accumbens and the ventral tegmental area we can say next function is emotions of fear anxiety rage and aggression fear centers for fear reaction are located in hypothalamus 
and in the amygdala. Animals with the destruction of amygdala becomes fearless, whereas the autonomic reaction, which are associated with this particular reaction of fear, are not elicited. Amygdaloid nuclei also encode the memories that evoke fear. In humans, left amygdala is activated by looking at the ugly faces, which evoke the fear and which does not occur by looking at the joyful faces. Anxiety is a common emotional reaction to a stimulus in which there is uncertainty or doubt about the future and apprehension for unknown that is uh, always or all the time there. It is a part of routine normal life. However, inappropriate or excessive anxiety, uh, anxiety in any of the situation is often considered as abnormal. The seat of anxiety is the frontal part of the temporal lobe. Alpha-2 GABA receptors have been identified to mediate this particular type of anxiety. Benzodiazepines, which is a class of drug, are known anxiolytics, which are acting or the physiological basis of these drugs to act is they increase the chloride conductance in the uh, receptors, that is alpha-2 GABA receptors. Rage and placidity. What is rage? A anger reaction in which a person loses his temper in response to a minor stimulus because of destruction of neocortex, ventromedian hypothalamus and the septal nuclei. That means even to a minor stimulus, the person is losing this acidity and emotional state in which the individual is not disturbed even in response to a major irritating stimulus. So we can say that it is exactly uh, opposite to the phenomenon of rage. Bilateral lesions of the amygdaloid nuclei lead to greater placidity. In the year 1928, Bard produced Calm rage, rage or aggression without emotional expression. Then the sham rage is produced in animals like cat by removing the cerebral hemispheres and keeping the hypothalamus and brainstem intact. In which animal reacted to all stimuli by expressing anger and autonomic overactivity. Later, Bard and Mount Kessel found that placidity produced by the amygdaloid region in monkey could be converted into la rage by destroying ventral median. Coming on to the next phenomena, that is aggression. It is the violent form of rage. Gonadal hormones, especially testosterone, are known to produce this aggression. Aggression decreases following the castration, which proves that, that it is uh, especially because of the gonadal hormones like testosterone. Fight or flight response, rage and aggression are fighting behaviors that can be elicited by stimulation of hypothalamic and the amygdaloid. Okay. If the connections of the frontal cortex to limbic system are removed, aggressiveness become more intense and permanent. In contrast, bilateral amygdalectomy results in permanent placidity. Coming on to next function, that is sexual activity. It includes sexual reflexes as well as sexual behavior. Sexual reflexes are coordinated mainly in spinal cord and the brainstem, whereas sexual behavior is controlled primarily by the limbic system. In humans, higher cortical centers override the limbic influences and refine the behavior. Also, this particular kind of behavior is conditioned by social and psychological factors. Populatory responses can be activated in animals by stimulation of parts of hypothalamus, olfactory system and other limbic areas which results in mounting behaviors in cases of males and at the same time lord of static that is arching back and raising the tail in cases of In males, lesion of the neocortex inhibits sexual behavior which shows that connections of limbic system with the cortex is absolutely required for the integration of the sexual bilateral lesion of limbic system confined to piriform cortex overlying amygdala and destruction of amygdala results in intense sexual activity, which is called hypersexuality. In females, in female sexual behavior is more complex, we can say. Female animals usually do not seek for mating always throughout their estrus cycle. Suddenly, in the heat phase of estrus cycle, sexual activity increases in case of females and they deeply seek for the partner for the male. In humans also, sexual appetite increases in females in peri-ovulatory phase, though the basal desire for mating remains throughout the menstrual cycle. Here of the anterior hypothalamus uh, cause abolishment of the sexual activity in female animals. 
olfactory stimuli are important in initiating sexual activity anterior and pre optic areas of the hypothalamus initiate endocrine regulation of gonads hormonal secretion of quadrants this, these are called pheromones in cases of female these pheromones signal the onset of estrus cycle pheromones increases sexual receptivity to the male quadrants are powerful stimulant that in low concentration initiate mating behavior in cases of olfactory system though it's through its direct connection with the limbic system integrates the behavior endocrine and autonomic responses of sexual behavior next is autonomic responses insular and prefrontal areas of the cortex are involved in the regulation of autonomic functions autonomic component of emotional responses are controlled by the amygdala structure of the limbic system parts of the limbic system which are projecting to brain stem and spinal cord centers have major influence on autonomic functions and therefore alteration in the cardiovascular and respiratory functions is an integral part of the autonomic response disorders which are affecting limbic system alteration in the brain's monoaminergic system as we have seen among the all neurotransmitter system that are present in the limbic system it is the monoaminergic system that is playing very important role in regulating the behavior in cases of humans along with the emotions and therefore alteration in the brains among monoaminergic system causes neurochemical imbalances in the form of alteration in catecholamines acetylcholine and serotonin which causes major psychiatric disorders to be developed including affective disorders and schizophrenia so physiological basis of most effective antipsychotic drugs is always to alter the monoaminergic transmission in order to treat these particular disorders types of limbic dysfunction first one is affective disorders which include depression mania or manic depressive psychosis mania is a psychological condition which is causing a person to experience unreasonable euphoria very intense moods hyperactivity and delusions in manic depressive psychosis periods of depression follow periods of mania in a cyclical pattern it is observed in mdp during depression periods brain uh, brain norepinephrine efferent concentration is decreased and in maniac periods norepinephrine transmission is decreased both in depression and ma in mania there is a decrease in brain serotonergic transmission as well the antidepressants uh, drugs like monoamine oxidase inhibitor or serotonin reuptake inhibitor stimulate both norepinephrine as well as serotonergic neurons the limbic system acute treatment of mania is the use of drug that block the dopamine receptor and the long term treatment for the mania is the lithium that inhibit regeneration of second messenger of second messenger like phosphatidyl inositol in neuronal membrane by blocking hydrolysis of inositol 1 is the schizophrenia a psychotic disorders characterized by a particular type of disordered thinking affect and behavior visual features are thought disorder inappropriate emotional responses and auditory hallucination though biochemical discrepancy resulting in schizophrenia is not properly known neuroleptic drugs that block the dopamine receptor in limbic system ameliorate features of schizophrenia physiology of emotion emotion what is emotion it is a state of feeling that manifest mentally and physically through cardiovascular and auto and other autonomic changes emotional activation and responses occur or takes place in three particular phases for stimulus recognition and evaluation emotional responses and emotional experience first among which is stimulus recognition perception of stimulus is called recognition or awareness of the particular sense next step after being recognition of the sensation is to evaluate that particular sensation or the stimulus process by which output is compared with the stored inform stored information is available either by experience or by inheritance knowledge and experience that are acquired are used for emotional expression the inherited information also helps in the emotional integration for example inherent fear in monkeys for the snakes emotional response second phase has three components affect conation and physical changes what is affect it is the feeling of emotion itself 
pronation is the urge to take immediate action in response to the image, emotion that is being felt. And third one is the physical changes which are sympathetic effects like increase in the heart rate, blood pressure, respiratory rate and sweating which are accompanied uh, with the emotional responses. However, emotional manifestation mainly depend on the type of emotional response and emotional response may be neural response, defense response or the conditional response. Natural response is a normal response of fear, anxiety or pleasure encountered in daily life. Natural emotion is associated with visceral as well as behavioral effects. In humans, cingulate virus is playing very important role in emotion as it interacts with Defense response is the response for a natural attack or responses to prevent from an attack. In experimental animals, defense response is elicited because of stimulation. In cats, that is in cats, that in cats elicit hissing or arching of back, erection and dilation of the head. This is associated with autonomic cardiovascular responses, which are consisting of increased heart rate blood pressure as well as increase in respiration. A large increase in skeletal muscle that is also the Then comes the conditioned response. It is the emotional response attached to a conditioned stimulus. Most of our emotional responses are conditioned emotional responses as they are usually evoked by a conditioned stimulus. Emotional experience. It is stored effectively in the memory. Subsequent emotional reaction the similar stimuli mostly depend on the knowledge of the previous experiences. Control of emotional responses are mainly mediated by neural and hormonal mechanism of which the neural mechanism has got peripheral and the central component. Neural mechanism, peripheral component, main output pathway for the emotional responses is autonomic nervous system. Autonomic activation is depending on the type of emotion, emotion of fear, and rage closely resemble the effect of injection of norepinephrine, so believed to be mediated by symptoms. Central, as suggested by the PAPE circuit for emotional expression and experience, sensory information from environment passes through thalamus to hypothalamus, and from hypothalamus, projections are divided into ascending as well as descending outputs. From the hypothalamus, the ascending output reaches to anterior thalamus via the mammalothalamic tract and then it is projecting back to cingulate cortex which interacts with the cortical cell. Cingulate gyrus is projecting back to hippocampus which projects back to hypothalamus to complete the sending of output of hypothalamus is directed towards brainstem and spinal cord from where autonomic fibers originate and autonomic output is primary basis for manifestation of emotional extreme. Role of limbic system. Limbic system receives both extraceptive as well as interoceptive sensory inputs. Extraceptive inputs reach limbic system via two ways. First, through the collateral, which are arising from the ascending sensory projection before the fibers are actually reaching to cortical areas, and second, from the sensory cortex itself. Interoceptive inputs reach hypothalamic and amygdaloid nuclei of limbic system from brain stem, especially from the nucleus tractus solitae. Major output of the limbic system to autonomic control areas is via its connections with the brain stem and the spinal cord. Also, amygdala has direct connection with the hypothalamus and brain stem autonomic areas. Pepe circuit forms the limbic hypothalamic connections for emotional expression through autonomic pathways. Let us consider some of the applied aspects. Psychosurgery. What is psychosurgery? Selected lesions of the brain, especially of limbic areas, are performed. Uh, this particular procedure is performed for treatment of psychiatric disorder, are called psychosurgery. Used for the treatment of psychiatric illness with extreme of aggression. Types of emotional disturbances. What could what could be the type of emotional disturbances? Disturbances of emotionality due to perceptual or cognitive abnormalities. Perceptual dysfunction includes illusion and hallucination. Cognitive disorders include uh, delusions, uh, different type of delusions. This inhibition of emotional expression causes emotional liability and pathological laughing or and rage reaction and aggressiveness, apathy and placidity, uh, 
लीड्स टू क्लवर बस्सी सिंड्रोम एंड अदर सिंड्रोम अल्टर्ड सेक्शुअलिटी इंडोजिनस फियर एंगजाइटी डिप्रेशन एंड रिकग्नाइजेक्टली Very good vision. It is said to be visual agnosia. Along with that, uh, animals pick up almost all the objects and explore them orally. Animals fails to ignore the peripheral stimuli, which is called hyper metamorphosis, and therefore respond to every stimulus and explore everything. This is all about the limbic system. Similar picture is observed in human uh, beings following bilateral surgical removal of temporal lobes. Cerebral atrophy and meningoencephalitis following toxoplasmosis, herpes simplex, or the uh, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. With this, we comes to end of the limbic system, which is very important part uh, from the examination point of view. Usual question are being asked and uh, describe the various parts of the limbic system and explain the functions or various functions of the limbic system. Thank you.